Hey, how's it going folks? CT here with another tutorial. This one's an iMovie with a little bit of image editing tutorial. And there was a question asking uh, how to remove the black bars from an image that was imported. And usually this happens when the image is not the same aspect ratio as the video. And also how, how to kind of make that area transparent. So off the top of my head, there's kind of, um, I think the best way to do it is you're going to have to do some editing in a, in a image editor. So I use Pixelmator. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the video and the image are the same resolution. So this image, I'm going to make a new one. And I'll make it 1920 by 1080. 1920. Oops. By 1080. I don't think I need 300 resolution, but I'll put 72 just for this tutorial. Okay. So I'm going to purposely do some ugly stuff here just to kind of demonstrate what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to shrink the image here so it fits on my, my MacBook Pro screen. I use the option and I'm going to click to change it to a negative magnifying glass. And let me actually shrink this thing here. Okay, there we go. So right now it's it's a uh, white background, but I'm going to add another layer by clicking on the layer menu here. I'm going to actually delete the background. So what I'm going to do now is actually, I'm going to put, this is an example, say you had an image, and um, it wasn't completely, actually, you know what I'll do? Time out, I'll get an image. This is one I took yesterday on my iPhone. So it opens up in preview. I just do Command A to highlight everything. Command C to actually copy it to the clipboard. Then I'll close it because I don't need it anymore. Then I'll just Command V to paste it. See, it's too big to do, to demonstrate. Whoa, <laughs> let me undo that. Command Z. It's too big to kind of demonstrate what I'm trying to get it to do. So I'm gonna resize it. This would be perfect for you know for demonstrating no black bars because the image is huge. It's way bigger than it needs to be. But I want to show uh, transparency. So that's my my wonderful knee accident I had a couple of days ago. So I'm purpose purposely leaving this this checkerboard area. That means it's transparent if you export in like a PNG format or a GIF GIF format, whatever they call it. Okay, so let's that's good for now. This is gonna be transparent over here. Okay. So let us export it to a PNG format and we'll just call it Ice Knee. <laughs> okay, now I'm Command Q to close the program. I don't need to save it either. Since I'm just doing a little tutorial, I'm gonna open up the old iMovies. Okay, so I'm gonna actually import the image in. You can either use this button here or you can use in the file menu up to you, desktop, ice knee. Okay. So, where did you go, Mr. Ice Knee? Somewhere up here, maybe at the bottom. Nope. That's a problem. When you get so much footage in here, you end up looking and looking and looking and looking. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, let's throw it on something that's. Um, yeah, let's do this easier to differentiate from something else right there so you'll notice let me shrink it up a little bit to match the clip size come on come on iMovie wake up there we go okay so you'll notice that you're able to see the background because I left that transparent right here now if I wanted to do picture in a picture you know just double click to highlight it and first thing you want to do is get it out of that stupid Ken Burns effect you could do crop the fill to get a certain area but fit will leave the whole image the way it is and when you do fit on an image that's not the same aspect ratio it automatically throws black bars on the sides so that's usually where the problem happens so let's do now once you did the fit we're gonna to go to our picture in a picture right over here and now we can actually, you'll notice that that area I left transparent and the image is still transparent. So 
there's a lot of cool, you know, artistic and interesting things you can do with this. You know, you could actually keep the whole thing transparent and just put titles or little, uh, they call them bugs, little like images of your logo and things like that. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. It's another little hack with a uh, iMovie you can do. Actually, with any video editing software. Okay, so now, actually, I'll leave it a little bit smaller so you kind of know what's going on. There we go, double toe. <laughs> okay, so now it's, and that's how you do it. So I hope this tutorial helped. If you have any questions or you want me to expand upon this tutorial, just put a comment down below. Don't forget thumbs up, subscribe, and all that jazz. And of course, as always, peace and a whole bunch of aloha thrown back at your way. Thanks for watching.